Immunet I covered recently, and if you want more information on it, you can find it at the link here, or you can go to my site, type in Immunet, and you'll find it. It will give you more details of the installation. I'm going to cover ClamWin and ClamAV plus Immunet. Now, I've got the installers on my desktop. Now, ClamWin is a free antivirus program for Microsoft Windows 7, Vista, XP, ME, 2098, Windows Server 2008 and 2003. Now, it's open source, it's free, and it runs alongside your existing security applications. It's a standalone scanner. It has no real-time scanning facility. So, double-click it to run. Click next. Accept the agreement. Click next. You can use this for anyone who uses the computer or only for the specified user. Click next. Click next again. Untick. The browser default search provider and the ask toolbar. Click next. Now you have the option to integrate this with Microsoft Outlook if you use it. That is pre ticked. I don't use it, so I've unticked it. Integrate with Windows Explorer gives you the right click context menu. And you also have international help files in Dutch and French. Click next. And you have the option to not create a start menu folder. Click next. You have the option to create a desktop icon and pre-ticked is download virus database files. Now if you use a proxy server, untick this box. This is important. Click next. And then install. Now the installation doesn't take very long. It's a bit longer than what you're going to see on here. But once it's finished that, it will then connect and download the latest definitions. And the process has started here, and this will take a little while as it downloads. This is the longest part of the process. So just bear with it, and when it's finished, click finish. You'll have a little clam icon on your desktop and a little circle in your system tray. Now if you click here, you get preferences, general display infected files only, scanning subdirectories, and display file scan progress indicator. Infected files, report only, remove, use this with caution, or move to quarantine folder. Now, advanced users may move it to quarantine. Most users report only initially. Uh, you can also unload infected programs from co computer memory, that's pre ticked Filters, leave them as they are. They're quite happy that way. Advanced users may want to add to them. Internet updates, enable automatic virus database updates. You can change the frequency. Hourly, daily, workdays or weekly. Daily, a bit, daily will do. You can also change a time that suits you. And I'll change this. Uh, I'll make it 11 p.m. for the time being. Warning virus databases out of date. You can update the database on logon and notify about new ClamWin releases. Now, no information is transmitted back to ClamWin about this. If you use a proxy server, fill in the details here. The proxy server, username and the password. Do not click OK at the moment. Click on Scheduled Scans, Add a Scan. You can select your frequency. Uh, weekly would do in most cases. Select a time that suits you. I'll make this 6 p.m. on a Sunday. Uh, activate this schedule and scan programs loaded in computer memory is pre ticked. You then need to go to Scan Folder and browse for the folder to scan. I will scan the C drive. Click OK. You need to give it a description or it won't work. So I'll just call this scan. Click OK and that's it. You can add, remove, edit or deactivate the scans here. Email alerts. Send email alert on virus detection. Fill in the SMTB details. Send, uh, fill in the email message details. And when you've done that, send a test email to make sure it works. Limits. You can leave these as they are. They're quite happy like that. File locations will show you where Clam stores the files and the reports show you where Clamwin stores the log, the update log, and you can also display pop-up notifications messages in the taskbar. And you don't get a lot of them, so that's no big deal. You can untick it if you like. It's up to you. Email scanning. This applies to Microsoft Outlook. 
scanning, coming and outgoing email messages, and display splash screen on startup. If you don't want the splash screen, just untick it. If you don't use Outlook, just leave this as it is. You can totally ignore it. Uh, under advanced setting here, treat files as mailboxes, extract attachments and macros from office documents. There's also command line parameters for advanced users. You can limit the log file size, but leave that at 1 megabyte, it's quite happy, and the scanner priority low or normal. Click OK, and that's it. Now if you click here, this will start the update process. It's already been updated, so I don't need to do an update. This will scan the computer memory for viruses, and this will scan selected files, which will be the C drive. And depending on what you have on your computer, depends on the length of time. Now I did carry out a scan with Clamwin after a bit of browsing. I also scanned with Microsoft Security Essentials, Threatfire and Immunet and Malware by Santi Malware. But this actually found a PHP shell which none of the others did. So it does find something. Now it's a standalone scanner, there's no real time scanning on it. You have to use it manually, so it doesn't interfere with any other security applications you may have. So there's no conflicts, no problems. Now, Clam AV is a partnership between Immunet and Sourcefire, and this is beta. Accept the terms of the license agreement. Install and. This works on Windows XP Service Pack 2, Movista Service Pack 1 and Windows 7 only. So bear that in mind. If you have Immunet installed, uninstall it first. Hit next. And just allow it to install. If you want the full details of all the settings on it, then look at the Immunet on my site or the Immunet video I've made, which goes into more detail. Uh, the installation doesn't take too long and again it will be a bit quicker than what you're seeing here because I've cut a few frames out because of the time limits. Now, once the service is finished Hit next. and initiate a flash scan is pre-ticked, click close, you'll get a little pop-up saying that it's connected to the cloud, the number of users and the number of threats you're protected against and the user interface will open and it will have started doing its flash scan. Now this scans running processes which you can see in your task manager most of the time and a few others that you don't see and scan load point processes which are the boot time processes. Now depending on how many processes you have running dictates how long the scan will take. In this case this will take around about a minute. Now I've used these programs for a couple of weeks, I've installed them and used them and then I've uninstalled them to reinstall them cleanly to show you how they install and work and walk you through them. Now if you want the full breakdown on Immunet to protect, which is exactly the same as Clam AV powered by Immunet, the settings are all the same, then check out the Immunet video or as I said the link on my site. Now this has taken 59 seconds if you click on settings, these are all preset, you can leave them as they are. The Verbo's train notifications, you may want to leave that off if you use Clam Win because you'll get a lot of pop ups. And you must click apply if you make any changes. Scan exclusions, you can select files, folders, file extensions, or threat names. Uh, simply files or folders, simply browse here or enter the details. Uh, locate it on your computer, click add and click apply. And it's that simple. If we go to the summary, any threats that are found will be shown in red and clean files are shown as green. And as you can see, this is all green. It's a clean install, three clean programs were installed. And these were all part of Clam AV powered by Immunet. And it shows you the path installed by and the date. So these two work together very well, and they also work alongside everything else you have. If you want more information, check out my site, which is Free PC Security, 
You can find more information on Download links in the finder.